Hello readers, this week we're going to read Migration of Loggerhead Turtles. Remember to listen and follow along as I read, and then go back and watch the video without the sound and try to read it for yourself. Think about the things we've talked about in classes we read, such as how we can use information gained from the illustrations and the words in a text to demonstrate understanding of the text, and also how we can describe the logical connection between particular sentences and paragraphs in a text. Let's begin reading. Migration of Loggerhead Turtles. It is a summer night in Florida. The waves crash against the sandy shore. Suddenly, out in the dark water, a large shape rises to the surface and swims to the beach. It is a mother loggerhead turtle. The turtle clumsily crawls across the sand using her front and back flippers. She chooses a spot far away from shore. Then, using her flippers, she scoops out a deep hole in the sand. She lays about 100 eggs in a hole. The eggs look like golf balls. Next, she covers the eggs with sand. The sand will hide their eggs from predators such as birds, raccoons, and crabs. Once the mother covers the eggs, she wriggles back across the beach and slides into the water. The eggs are now on their own. Two months later, the eggs hatch. Each baby turtle or hatchling has an egg tooth on its snoot that it uses to break the shell. Once out of the shell, the hatchlings climb out of the nest and scramble toward the water. They need to be quick, however. Birds, raccoons, and crabs roam the beaches, looking for a chance to devour them. Many loggerhead turtles will not survive. The lucky few that make it to the water swim away. Look at the illustration at the bottom. It says, this hatchling heads from the safety of the ocean. Hmm. Next page. Many years later, the female turtles return to the same beach they left when they were hatchlings. The adult turtles migrate thousands of miles to lay their eggs on the same beaches where they were born. Why do turtles migrate? How do they know where to go? Where do the female turtles go after they lay their eggs? For many years, the migration patterns of loggerhead turtles was a mystery. Then, scientists developed different ways to track the migration of loggerhead turtles throughout their lives. Where do they go? Scientists have begun to understand more about how turtles migrate after they are born. Once the hatchlings reach the water, they swim away from the shore as quickly as possible. This helps them escape birds and fish hunting near the shore. The hatchlings swim for one to two days. They are then swept into the Gulf Stream current. The current pushes the hatchlings north along the coast of the United States. The current is also filled with floating seaweed. The hatchlings spend many years feeding on and hiding in the seaweed until they become adults. By that point, they are too big to be eaten by most predators. At the bottom of the page, we see an illustration. Underneath it says, scientists are not sure where hatchling loggerheads spend their early years. For the next five to 10 years, the turtles migrate across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. They swim down toward the western edge of Africa. Finally, the current pushes the turtles back across the Atlantic. At the end of their journey, they have traveled 8,000 miles. They come back to where it all began, a game of tag. Because they spend the majority of their time in water, loggerhead turtles are not easy to track. They also migrate thousands of miles to find food. Scientists have developed several ways to track these turtles. One way is by using satellites. Scientists attach a high-tech tag to the shell of a mother turtle. This tag carries a radio transmitter. Whenever the turtle rises to the surface of the water to breathe, the transmitter beams the signal to a satellite orbiting Earth. The satellite then beams the information back to Earth. After a year, the transmitter stops working and falls off the turtle. Scientists use a computer program to organize the information from the satellite and track the turtle. 
scientists can see where the turtle is traveling. They can see how fast the turtle is swimming. Scientists can also find out where the turtle swims to feed. Another tracking method is placing a tag on a turtle's flipper. Each tag has a number and a message. The message asks people to return the tag to the scientist for a small reward. Scientists use the tags to map where the turtles have been. A third way scientists study the migration of loggerhead turtles is by taking blood samples. They compare the blood from one turtle with the blood of other turtles to find out whether any of the turtles are related. Because turtles return to the same beach to lay eggs, turtles that came from the same beach should have similar blood. The blood samples can tell scientists where turtles were born. Let's look at the pictures on these two pages. The map says, this map shows the migration pattern of loggerhead turtles. On the next page, we see a satellite. It says, satellites send information about loggerhead turtles to scientists on land. Next page. Turtle safety. Loggerhead turtles are endangered. This means there are not many of them left. Scientists know that understanding the turtles' migration patterns will help protect the turtles. If people know where the turtles like to swim, people can watch out for them. Boats can be careful not to collide with the turtles. Knowing where the turtles swim also tells scientists where turtles find their food. They can warn people fishing to be careful about where they case their nets so they don't catch the turtles by accident. Governments can also ban fishing in the areas where turtles feed. Scientists know more about turtles now than they ever did before. By using technology, they know that turtles migrate across the Atlantic before returning home to lay their eggs. By studying where the turtles migrate, we can help save them from going away forever. Let's look at this picture on the left side. It says many turtles are accidentally caught in fishing nets. Think about how these pictures helped you have a better understanding of the story. Until next time, thank you readers.